Hi, this is Craig Hartman for VFDs.com. Today we're going to learn how to program the Mitsubishi A700 series of variable frequency drives. This is the Mitsubishi A700 drive. This is an advanced high performance drive. If you are looking for something simple for pans or pumps, you might want to check out the F700. This is the standard keypad on the A700. We're going to remove this keypad and replace it with an advanced keypad. Now the advanced keypad is easier to program, gives you more information, and gives you diagnostics and other high performance features at a very, very nominal price. This particular drive is a 200 volt drive and we've got our three phase power coming into the input terminals of the drive. Now the first thing we want to do to program it is to push this hand button. It may say hand or PU and we're going to show you only the minimum functions that you're going to need to program this drive. They're called parameters. So the way you find a parameter, you get it in hand mode, you press parameter set and then you press the parameter number. In this case we'll start with number one. Parameter number one is the maximum frequency. So we're going to program the maximum frequency for 60 Hertz. We simply type in 60 and then write and it will program that for 60 Hertz. The next thing we're going to program will put parameter set two read and that is your minimum frequency. The minimum frequency can be set to zero for many applications. For most fans we tend to set this about 12 Hertz. For pumps you want to make sure that this is high enough so that you don't deadhead the pump. So let's program that for 12 Hertz. That will be 12 and then right. You can see when it completes it says completed here and the new value flashes. Next let's go to parameter 7. So parameter 7 with parameter set, 7 read, and this is your acceleration time. Your acceleration time will depend upon the load that you have. The higher the inertia, the longer the acceleration time. Let's program this for 10 seconds. 10 seconds and write. Next, parameter 8. Parameter set 8 and read. This is your deceleration time, how long it takes to slow down. Let's make this 10 as well. So we'll type in 10 and then write. Next we have our overload relay. You need to protect the motor from overload, so we need to program the overload relay for the rated full load amps on the nameplate of the motor. Parameter set 9, read. Let's say that our motor is rated for 3 amps. We'll put in 3 and then write. Now we need to program two more things. We need to program the volts per hertz. It's very important that these be set accurately for the motor. So our hertz is parameter 3. Parameter set 3, read, and you can see the hertz is 60. Since that's already correct, I'm not going to change it, and this will be on the motor nameplate. The next thing we'll do is set our motor voltage. So parameter set 19 and read, and that gives us our motor voltage. In this case, we have a 230 volt motor, so we'll type in 230 and then write. Now we have the motor voltage and the motor frequency. One last parameter is parameter 14. This tells you whether you have a variable torque load or a constant torque load. In general, this means fans and pumps would be variable torque load. Most other drives are going to be constant torque. So in this case, we're going to type parameter set, 14, read, and if we have a constant torque load, we'll program it for zero. If we have a variable torque load, we'll program it for one. So in this case, let's assume that it's constant torque. We type zero and then write. Now there are many other parameters here, but these are the minimum that you need to set up any drive and start it running. If we want to run this from the keypad, we simply push hand, we type in the speed that we want it to run, let's say 52 hertz, right, and then push forward. And you can see that the drive turns on, the frequency ramps up to 50 hertz, and then it will stop. 52 hertz, excuse me. If we want to stop it, we push stop, and it will ramp down from 50 hertz, 2 hertz to zero in the 10 seconds that we programmed, and then it will stop. 
So that's how to program the basic parameters on a Mitsubishi A700 series drive using the advanced keypad. Check us out at VFDs.com to see more educational videos and to see our extensive inventory of variable frequency drives and associated accessories.